Tonight we mourn a journalism giant. Mike Wallace died Sunday at 93. Over a half century on TV, he became more famous than most of his subjects by mastering the In Your Face interview. John Donvan remembers the 60 Minutes star who had a showman's flair and a prosecutor's gut. When Mike Wallace did an interview, half the time it wasn't the answer that mattered, it was that he had asked the question at all. Like when he told Ayatollah Khomeini that Egypt's president thought he was mad. And he calls you Imam, forgive me, his words not mine, a lunatic. Even the translator didn't want to have to explain that one. That's, yes, that's, that's what I heard. The question still hangs out there. Wallace could feed a string of questions like a length of rope. This was the Shah of Iran, not long before he was toppled. And six more will be shot, but because they are betraying their country. But Wallace did the same thing and had fun with people he seemed to like, Kirk Douglas. You had a reputation as a real horse's behind. Even your own kids said that you were very difficult. They didn't say I was a horse's ass, did they? <laughs> no, they did not. That was sitting down, but when you wouldn't come to him, come on out. that's you when he me? would come Why to you. So Why are you so reluctant? Get over here, Mike. With a voice that was shoe leather tough and shoe leather smooth, that slight note of showbiz in Wallace came about from his early days as a radio actor and announcer and TV game show host. But then he found the interview and the gift for making the unaskable askable. Nancy Reagan. So how much were she and the former president getting paid to visit Japan? You're going to be in Japan. And I'm told it's a two million dollar two weeks. They're getting two of us. They're working us like crazy. Now you really didn't need that question. Well he did once he asked it. Not every question came literally with a question mark. Didn't need it with Jack Kevorkian. There's something almost ghoulish in your desire to see the deed done. But in cases like JFK's Secret Service Guard where the answer really did matter, Wallace knew just to listen. If I had reacted just a little bit quicker, I could have, I guess. And I'll live with that to my grave. Much imitated, Mike Wallace really was one of a kind and was at it for more than 50 years, nearly as long as there has been television. John Donvan, ABC News, West Hisbury, Massachusetts. Diane Sawyer worked closely with Wallace at 60 Minutes. Here's the memory she shared with us. Mike's energy and nerve paced everyone at 60 Minutes. His was the defining spirit of the show. He bounded through the halls with joy at the prospect of the new, the true, and the unexpected. Along with Diane, all of us at ABC News extend our condolences to Mike's family.